Hey folks, welcome back. Uh, today we're going to take a look at uh, how gas guns perform when you fill it with uh, a brand new gas tank compared to a gas tank that's been used quite a bit. This one is significantly lighter. Uh, most of the gas is used, but you can still feel it uh, when you uh, tilt it back and forth. You can feel like the liquid kind of, the compressed liquid kind of uh, falling from side to side here. Uh, compared to this one, when you pick it up, it's a lot heavier, um, and you really can't feel the liquid because it's uh, pretty much filled to the top. Now, the question is, is there a difference uh, between these two? And um, would you really, you know, when would it be a good idea to replace these tanks and dispose of them properly? Um, because um, I have never really noticed that. I, I kind of just throw it out or, you know, dispose of them when um, I just feel like the gas isn't running that well anymore. And that's really the easy answer, but we want to maximize these, right? We, you know, we don't want to waste any gas um, if we don't have to. So let's try to see how it performs. So this is a gas tank that's um, um, pretty light. Now, the reason I'm not weighing these, I'm not giving them an exact number because I don't think it's really practical to necessarily weigh it. I also don't have a scale with me, but um, I think it's a good idea just to see um, kind of like a poor man's in a, you know, quick way to identify these. So if you're at home and you're using these on, or on the field, for example, you can just kind of gauge it and see, all right, that's still good. In my sense, I feel like if you can feel there's some gas or some liquid, compressed liquid rolling back and forth when you're um, turning it upside down like this, that probably is um, a good sign. Now let's see how it performs though. So I have here, this magazine is filled with gas from this tank right here. This is the used one. And we're going to see how many shots we can get out of it. Now, keep in mind, uh, I'm not testing to see if the slide locks back or anything like that. I'm just trying to see uh, how many shots we can get out of it total. So we're going to keep firing it, and we're going to record the shots, and we're going to see how it, how many, it, uh, how many we can get, and then we're going to compare it with this one, the full one. All right. So from what you can tell here, uh, whether your propane tank is full or whether it's on the low side. Uh, the biggest difference that you'll notice is that it's the uh, capacity. So how many shots can it actually fire? And that's not really surprising that the low propane tank shoots less uh, than the uh, full propane tank. So in the blue line, the full propane tank is able to squeeze about 60 shots, whereas the uh, lower propane tank uh, that's a little bit empty is only able to shoot 28. So that's not surprising. What is kind of cool, though, is that notice that when it's able to fire, Regardless whether it's full or on the low side, it still shoots at the same performance. So um, the only difference you'll notice is that it shoots less of it, but at the same FPS. So that's kind of a cool um, thing to note there, um, whether you're high or low. Um, the same you'll notice uh, is true with, uh, with duster gas. So in our comparison of uh, whether it's a, high, a full tank of duster gas or a... Uh, a moderately empty can of duster gas, the effects remain the same. Uh, the performance of the, between the two is really the same. Uh, they really shoot around like the 230, 240 mark. Uh, but again, the only difference is that the total capacity. So an empty or a low, near empty duster gas can only shoots about 90, whereas a full duster gas tank shoots about 100. Although it is kind of interesting, though, that whether a duster gas can is low or high, um, it doesn't seem to have a huge difference in terms of capacity, whereas that difference is a lot more dramatic with a propane tank. But, again, keep in mind, though, that um, this is just a very subjective feeling when I say it's near empty, because I just picked it up, and I kind of feel like it's a little light compared to the full one. Um, who knows how much is really left there. But it is kind of interesting to see those effects, though, that um, they don't change in terms of performance, only capacity. Um, so let's compare duster to uh, propane and see how they perform. So this chart right here, you'll see that uh, not surprisingly, propane shoots a lot harder, about 100 FPS on average compared to higher compared to pro duster gas in the blue here. But look at the advantage that duster gas provides. Uh, the capacity is much higher. You can squeeze out anywhere from the second blip right there, which is about 86 rounds, to about 100 rounds for the blue line. And then the propane, which is the red line, anywhere from about 50 to 61. So that's a huge difference, and both of these tanks were full. So um, 
Duster Gas, although she doesn't shoot as hard as Propane, shoots a lot more. That's almost close to 40 to what, 40 to 50 percent more shots, uh, even though it's uh, at a weaker FPS. So what if we, you know, mix the gases? Can we get a better performance if we mix them together? And that's the question we found with this part right here. We did a 50-50 mix of propane and duster. And interestingly enough, uh, the effects of propane when it's out 50-50 uh, is really no different than propane alone. Because I guess the propane effect is really overpowering with any effect of the duster. So you're still getting the same FPS performance out of the gate, about 100 FPS higher than normal duster alone. Um, and it pretty much bottoms out and runs out of shots around the same point, around 64, 65, so no different than propane alone. Um, so that's, that's uh, when it's compared 50-50. Um, so in terms of mixing gases, if you do it this way, it's not going to make a huge difference. Um, now, um, I tried it again with a different combination to see if we can get a different effect. And I, what I found is that if you just did a hint of propane with a mostly duster gas, that's when you get the real effects. Uh, so, as you can see in this slide right here, you basically fill up a magazine with, completely with duster gas, shoot out about, about three or four rounds to make some room for the propane, put in about no more than four seconds of dust or propane gas, and this is what you get results. It's dramatic. Look at the blue, the purple line. So this is when you get the benefits of both worlds here. So your initial shots are going to be higher than duster, although a little bit lower than propane, but the price you, the benefit you gain from this is that you get a higher capacity. So instead of shooting, you get higher than duster gas in terms of FPS performance, but you get more capacity than propane. Uh, so it falls right in between if both groups are there, which is really cool. Um, so that's just the magic ratio you need to go through in order to get the best of both worlds right there. Alrighty, so based on those studies, we want to see if we can replicate uh, these uh, the same effects again uh, using a different gun. Uh, since all those uh, previous uh, results that you saw were ran using the uh, WE Glock 19, let's try it with a different gun um, and see if that affects it. Or um, so we remember we want to be able to replicate this. You know, one study or you know, really one test doesn't really show a whole lot. It gives us ideas, but it makes those results more valid, so to speak, if we can run it again and replicate the same thing. So I have here the Tokyo Marui uh, Glock 26, uh, the one of the plastic slides. Uh, everything is stocked, and we're going to run the same thing. This is um, a fairly low uh, tank of gas. It's, it's not too low, but it's comparable to what it was before. It's not full. This right here is a... Um, Ooh, I better switch it out. Uh, as we saw, um, whether it's a full tank of duster or a low tank of duster didn't really seem to make a huge difference. So I will uh, continue to use this one right now. Um, and the other thing is I don't have a brand new tank of duster right now with me. But I do have a new tank of propane, so we'll run the test again, um, and we'll see how it affects. Now, uh, this is relevant because um, with the new Tokyo Marui Glock 19 out right here, um, a lot of folks want to know how can I use this to my advantage. So, I can you use uh, propane in one of these guns? And I think the answer is you can. Uh, I know uh, this one YouTuber out in uh, the UK uh, shoots all his Marui guns with uh, green gas and has no issues with it. Um, I have seen the opposite, though. I have seen some videos where it cracks uh, right here. Um, when you use the dust or sorry the propane gas, so it, it can be kind of tough. So we'll see. Maybe there's a, a medium we can use. You know, maybe there's a combination of mixing the gases a little bit um, might be more beneficial. That's really gonna be for another video though. But um, we'll just keep that in mind um, for next time. Today is just gonna focus on the the gas performance uh, between the two, and then we'll go from there. All right. So let's fill them up. All right. So well, the results are a little a little different now uh, when we try it again using the uh, Marui Glock 26, um, which is kind of unfortunate. I mean, I don't think this test was completely uh, kept uh, consistent, though, however, unfortunately. That's probably why the results were so different. Um, so I ran the original test back in Virginia um, with the WE Glock. So today I ran this test in Seattle, or in Washington, 
and um, it's a lot colder here right now. We're in the middle of winter where I ran the test initially in Virginia in the summer out there. So I think um, that could be one reason. The second reason is the Marui Mag. I am having some issues with loading it in terms of filling up gas. But in a nutshell, what we're seeing is that the duster gas, uh, again, it's a low can of duster gas, did perform, outperform in terms of capacity, about 51 shots. Um, again, it was on the lower side, it was a little bit cooler. I did try warming it up a little bit, um, whereas I didn't warm the propane tank. Uh, so that is a little bit some confounding factors right there. Um, I was only, and the propane tank was also low, um, not a full tank. Uh, so I was only able to get about 30 shots out of this one, um, out of the Glock 26. Um, now, what's interesting is when I'm mixing the propane and the duster gas together, um, I'm actually getting worse uh, effects here. It doesn't seem to be getting the same benefits in terms of capacity as we saw before, but I really think it's because in this case I was kind of running out of gas, and plus the colder weather was kind of taking a toll on the performance of these guns. So, uh, I don't think this disproves our results at the beginning, but I think a lot of other factors plays into account of how you can best use these gas efficiencies, um, especially with the temperature being the biggest factor. Um, so, you know, maybe during colder weather, you might want to use a little bit more propane to get more benefits out of it, um, whereas when it's warmer, uh, you can probably use less propane and use mostly duster gas to get the more benef most benefit out of it. Um, Alright, well, hope you folks found this stuff helpful. Um, let me know if you have any questions or if you want to see something else test or you want to see more t repeat tests of the same stuff. Uh, be more than happy to do that. Um, as always, uh, give us a thumbs up, uh, subscribe to our channel, and uh, you know, hope you all enjoy the content. See you all next time.